Hello and welcome to the Friday, August 2nd, 2024 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Some interesting uh, proxy scans today. Proxy scans are very commonly detected by our honeypots where attackers are looking for, well, HTTP proxies in order to relay requests. I usually see them used sort of as free VPNs where the point of the VPN is not encryption, but instead showing up from a different location. So they're sometimes used for benign things like trying to watch a sports event using a different country's IP address, sometimes of course also to launch attacks. Now, the attempts that I observed uh, lately, they use a little bit of a different approach. It's actually sort of more a fun approach, I think, that's a more reminiscent of some of the early kind of hacking activities, uh, sort of pre-2000, in that there is a website called IPv4.games. And, well, the way the game works, in short, is the more IP address you're able to connect from to that website, well, the higher your ranking and status on that website. So, of course, proxies here are an obvious solution where you're able to connect from many, many different IP addresses. And essentially, you claim an IP address as yours by connecting from that IP address and then just append your username to the URL. Probably good to look up your IP address or your IP address range to see if uh, someone has been using some of your systems as a proxy. On the other hand, I don't really think this is of a serious attack or such as the name of the site implies it's games and that they're really uh, playing here, not necessarily attacking it. The site itself could, however, be used to discover proxies as well. And in case you wonder, IPv6.games is also registered, but at this time does not appear to be used. And more trouble for Google Ads. It turns out that Google served ads on its own website, advertising a malicious version of Google Authenticator. Paid advertisers are able to mask the URL that is being displayed to the user when they're seeing the sponsored result in Google's search engine. So in this case, the URL actually was displayed as www.google.com but then led to a malicious website. Also, the little excerpt stated that it's an official website. So in order to emphasize that this may actually be the real Google Authenticator. Malwarebytes looked a little bit deeper into it and then found that, for example, the advertiser that's listed, if you're diving into it, is not at all related uh, to Google and that the software being advertised here is actually malicious. And as a result, instead of actually getting more security by using multi-factor authentication, all your credentials will be stolen by this malware. Infoblox and Eclipsium have published a blog post with details regarding attack that they're calling sitting ducks. The problem is actually not new. It has been described for a few years now, but still going around. And what it relates to is if an organization is using a domain and then stops using it, which often does lead to some incomplete delegations where for example, you used a DNS provider in the past that you no longer have a relationship with now that the domain is no longer used, but your registrar's DNS records are still pointing to that third party. If that third party now allows an attacker to essentially take over the domain, then that attacker has full control over the domain and is potentially able to impersonate the organization associated with the domain. This is, of course, in particular important if, for example, due to changes in branding and such, you are changing the main domain that you're using, but many of your users may still be familiar with that old domain 
and now phishing emails or uh, websites that are popping up at the old domain may still look plausible. Apparently, uh, this has been exploited many thousand times over the last few years, so definitely something to watch out for. And well, we always talk about inventory problems in IT and security. Domains are certainly part of this. So before registering a domain and starting to use it, uh, make sure that uh, you're actually willing to essentially pay for that domain forever uh, because as soon as you stop paying it or stop paying for associated services, an attacker may be able to take over that domain. A year or so ago, we had a sense that EDU student actually write about that problem and you know what can happen and what they have observed as they sort of were, as they call in the paper, dumpster diving for no longer used domains. Well, and that's it for uh, today. Thanks for listening. And if you're interested in taking a class from me, the next one will be in Vegas, uh, the sort of first, second week of September. And it's actually confirmed now as an on-site class. So I will definitely uh, be uh, teaching in Vegas at Caesars Palace in case, well, you didn't make it to the hacker summer camp the next uh, couple of weeks. Well, that's it. Thanks for listening. Talk to you again on Monday. Bye.